they banged the boards. First quarter, Brandon Granville misses the shot. David Bluthenthal with a thick follow. Oh, my. Trojan 16 offensive boards. Heels only four. Sam Clancy, uh-uh. Jeff Trepanier throwing it down. Five offensive boards by Tremaine. Trepanier by himself. He had nine boards scored with Max Owens straight banging. Owens 15 points and 7 to 13 shooting. Joseph Forte large in his D1 debut. On the break, hesitates. Silk Forte 24 points later in the first half. Ed Coda to Forte. Lord have mercy. He just done grown up so nice. He making Pookie and him and Ray Ray proud. Coda 15 points, 10 assists. UNC wins at 82 to 65. Forte also four of four for three-point land. Heel shot 65% from the field. Trojans now 0-6 all-time against the Heels. North Carolina 80 and 10 in season openers. Elsewhere at the Maui Invitational, Billy Donovan and his Florida Gators battling the Aggies of Utah State. Second half Gators up to Sean Daniels to Bernard. Rock, shooting the rock, rock on. Seven lead changes in the black final four and a half minutes. Florida ball, Mike Miller misses the three, but freshman Donnell Harvey, National High School Player of the Year last year. Oh, cut it out. Six points, six boards for Harvey. Florida up to Utah State, one last chance. Troy rolled this by Major Parker. Parker said, I knew he was left-handed, so I went right at him. Florida hangs on to win it, 60 to 58. Huge block by Parker. He saves the game. With Winning in the Breslin Center, even without dealing with the team, please. There's no cup of tea, especially when we got Morris Peterson, the two-handed alley oop. Toledo coach Dan Joplin, former MSU assistant for Judd Heathcote, along with Tom Izzo, is watching the doors get blown off the squad. Jason Richardson with the strong putback. Spartans up 39-16 at the half. Second half, Peterson. The top of the key for the three. Spartans up 44-16. And roll on. Morris Peterson at 19 and 10. And so much for that jinx, huh? The Spartans won bragging rights. UMass at UConn. Khaled Alamine for three. No, but there's Aju Aju Dang. I love saying that. UConn up six. It's almost as fun saying Aju Aju Dang as saying Suleiman Wan. I get paid for that. Can I buy a vowel, please? please Let's buy a consonant. Second half, UConn pulling away. Just J Jake Voskel. See, <laughs> that I have a problem with. On that team, Jake Voskel is like Bob. Hey, welcome to the happy hour sports center. Charlie <laughs> Steiner watching his alma mater. Early first, Ed Cage steals the pass. Eric Cage, Oh yeah. He had six points, brains up early. More Bradley. Jerome Robinson in transition finds Rob Day. Three, silk, satin, so smooth. Rob Dye finished with 19 points. Second half, Frank Williams stops, pops, long three. Oh, Shorty straight, ripping the cords. Williams had 16 points to give the uh, Illini their first lead of the game. Late second, Illini by six. Corey Bradford takes the pass from Lucas Johnson straight, stroke in the three. Bradford at 22. Illinois goes on to win it. Since Georgetown stayed in this one, Roger Clemens in attendance. Shot missed inside. Cordenal Freeman doesn't miss. Georgetown up 11. Carolina coming back late in the first. Listen. You like that. Brennan Haywood with the slam. Second half, Carolina down two. Haywood inside. Got position. Got a bucket. UNC's in a tie. Georgetown down three. Kevin Braswell to Anthony Perry. Launches and hits the three. Georgetown ties it up at 62. Late in the game, Freeman, Jason Capel, he's going in and he's going to the rack, and Carolina hangs on 85 to 79. It was closer than that. It was, it was 84 to 80. The Hoyas lost for the first time in 22 all-time games in the Hawaiian Islands, but just barely in the title game. The Florida Purdue, Mike Miller, looks like he's going to pass to Udonis Haslam. But look, he's going to Donnell Harvey instead with that. That's fancy. Miller through the legs of Mike Robinson. 18-17, Florida's up. But then Florida missing. Major Parker can't hit. Miller, ugly for three. Matt Bonner, air ball. Billy Donovan's team, one for nine from three range in the first half. Second half, Purdue's up eight. Parker on the drive, he misses. Harvey put back is blocked. Mike Robinson, Brian Cardinal, plus the foul. Three-point play, Purdue's up 50-39. Florida still not hitting inside. Haslam misses the layup. Brian Cardinal from his knees to McQuay. He throws it home, 19 for him. And Purdue a winner here. The Boilermakers are in the title game after holding Florida to
Total running time, 26 seconds. Chris Carwell going baseline. That's a dunk. And then Carwell working the ball to Carlos Boozer. Uh, back to Carwell. Easy. 20 for him. Second half, Boozer with the steal. Almost loses it here. Stays with it. Nate James, he'll finish. Five assists for Boozer. Jason Williams inside. There's Boozer again. Low live. Duke rolling here, 99 to 52. So after going 0-2 at the Coaches versus Cancer Classic, Duke is now beaten up on Army and Columbia. Get Minnesota, early first half. Mark gets sloppy with the rock. Cordell Henry dribbles the ball off his foot. Gophers fast break, and Terrence Simmons, hello. Golden Gophers forced 11 first half turnovers, led by 10. Tough D, John Bickerstaff blocks Brian Wardle's shot, makes the steal, and then gives it to Mitch Onstat, who adds to his stats. Minnesota up by eight. The ball was really bouncing the Gophers' way. Dusty Reichert attempts the oop to Joel Prisbilla. Instead, he just gets a bucket. Dan Monson's Gophers win 66-57. Reichert 22-11, and third straight double-double for Reichert dating. Brandon Spann. Oh, that's fancy. Oh. Off the backboard, Ladero Billingsley. Watch it once more, please. To see how college women, 18 to 23, feel about it. They think he's tall. It's nutty. Sterling Davis trying to throw this down. That won't work. It's loose. Marlo Miles after it. Go to Billingsley again. Tulane, easy, 86 61. Billingsley. Who's going to get momentum early? That's Lute Olson. Why is he watching? More on that later. Be patient. First half, all Kentucky pushing it up. Saul Smith to Jules Camara for the finish. Kentucky by three early, and more of Tubby's son, Saul. Comes up with the steal, looking for Tayshawn Prince, who is kingly with the jam. 12-4 UK, and then Digger, the Kentucky defense. Well, yeah, they go to a zone, and even with a zone, you take a look at the size factor. Point is this, when Terrace Morris doesn't score, they've got problems, and in the first half, going up against Prince's wingspan, they still couldn't get the ball in the hole. And Digger, a different second half for Juan Dixon and Gary Williams. Well, you take a look at Juan Dixon. Really struggling the first half. Goes 0 for 6. In the second half, he finally gets some points. But again, when you take a look at who's the plague player, Dixon goes in and score. And I think that's what we look for when you get a player like Dixon in the backcourt, one of the great guards, and yet it's not over. So Tubby Smith pulls his starters after a 7-0 run to start the half. But Tayshawn Prince stays in, nails the three with the help from the Nate. Night screen, 43-34 cats, and that bench for Kentucky really helping out. Desmond Allison hanging, hitting, 47-34, and Smith comes out to congratulate him. But Digger Terrence Morris is tough for Maryland late. Well, he finally gets his game going. You can see why he's probably going to be the ACC Player of the Year. Solid in the paint, knows how to go to the hole, and his points were big at this point of the game. As Maryland came back to tie it at one point, and then with Saul Smith back in the game, he's stripped by Stephen Blake, who takes it in for the lay-in, 51 to 50. And then late in this game, it came down to free throws, and Kentucky missed a lot of them. 7.4 seconds left, up three. Jamal McGlure's second free throw would make it a four-point game. He misses, so one last shot, but perhaps some bad decision-making here by Dixon. He's got Miller wide open. He rushes a three, it doesn't go, and by the time Miller can sink the desperation, the game clock has expired, and Kentucky hangs on to win 61-58. They move into the finals on Friday. Eight steals and 13 turf turnovers help Kentucky get the early lead. Coming on Notre Dame, the entry pass to Michael Wright. Looked like he got hacked, makes the play. He had 22 points, 11 boards. Later, it's David Graves getting the pass. The pick from Troy Murphy. He's going in. Notre Dame down four. Graves had 17. Arizona up seven. On the break, Richard Jefferson driving. Oh, well, that's fancy. Arizona's up nine, 13 for him. Still a 13-point game to Lauren Woods. He was swatting balls all over the place. This time asking for it down low and backing in and maybe traveling, but certainly scoring. Arizona pulling out late second. Notre Dame trying to press here. Jason Gardner, he'll break it. Rick Anderson will finish it. Arizona by a count of 76. To 760, rather. Arizona is on its way to play Kentucky in finals. First half, Carson Cunningham to Brian Cardell. Pump fake and the kiss for Daddy. Boilermakers go up four. Later in the first, off the scramble, Terrence huh? Newby finds oh, yeah. Brian Burk sticker for the jam. You blew it. Carolina down by five at the break. Second half, Purdue up two. Cunningham inside to Cardell. Nice catch and a tough shot. Cardell finished with 12. Later on, Carolina playing so well in the second half, the rookie, the freshman, Joe Forte. Oh, look at that. Forte, 16 of his 21 in the second half. Carolina pulls away down the stretch. Max Owen 
great feed to Brendan Haywood. When you dunk like that, it's easy to see why you shoot four or five from the field. North Carolina wins it by the final of 90 to 7. Budgetary decision. This is the new Sports Center promotion campaign. Georgetown and Florida in Maui. Donnell Harvey missing, but puts home the rebound right at the buzzer. 14 points, nine rebounds, tied 33 at the half. Here we are in the second. Kevin Braswell. He was on the line. That's just two. 23 for him. The game tied at 55. Gators going. Mike Miller. Ricola. Five of five from three-point range for him. 18 altogether. 10-point win for Florida. The Gators are bust to play Providence in the Puerto Rico shootout. First half, 31-27, a steal. Aaron Maxey knocks it down. He had 22. Spartans turn it over 12 times in the first half. The lead for second-ranked Spartans down to two, but under a minute to go, Morris Peterson creating a turnover. Flintstone, meet a Flintstone. Peterson to Charlie Bell. Charlie with 15, 38-29 Spartan at the break. Start of the second half. Sweet Bo Pete. Thank you very much. 16-0 run for State. Peterson had 18, and later in the second, the Duke transfer. Mike Chappelle, see it, and he cannot be it, but Jason Richardson, the freshman, hammers it home. You see him hang up there and wait on it. State wins in a blowout, 82 to 58. The final, they shot 57% to overcome 23 turnovers, did the Spartans. Four guys in double figures. State faces the winner of South Carolina and Virginia. We don't want to spoil that for you. We'll get to that in just a bit. Texas and Arizona State. Horns down by a couple. Yvonne Wagner to Gabe Manecki. Punches it home. 10-2 Texas run late in the first half. Early in the second half, Texas continued to run. Manecki. Manecki controlling his emotions so far this season. And late last year, led Rick Barnes' team with 29 points. Later in the second half, Darren Kelly will fire it. Chris Mim, maybe the best center in the country. And one. Chris Mim, and Mim with 19 half. points. Mim, Manecki, and Chris Owens combined for six three-point plays the old-fashioned way. Texas wins at eight. Against American University of Puerto Rico. We got Paul McPherson, the JC transfer, who says he can fly higher than Vince Carter. And you know what? He can do some things. He had 23 points. Quentin Richardson didn't turn pro, came back to the ball, and he also had 23 points. Showing great hustle on this sequence. Finally, on the third try and a foul, DePaul wins it 114 to 69. So McPherson and Richardson each by 156-55. Luke Axdell, transfer from Texas, sat out last year in action this year for three. Ashante Johnson now gets the turnaround Jada Fall, capping a 15-2 run for Kansas. And Jeff Oshie had 18, three here, got it. Kansas wins 88-78. So Kansas now one more win away from reaching the finals for the third time in three trips. To the Under two minutes to go, tied at 78. Reese Gaines, a youngster, good name, that ball handling. Boyd Price lays it in, Xavier up by a deuce. It's now one point Musketeer lead under 40 seconds to go. Alvin Brown's pass picked off by Nate Johnson. But he stepped out of bounds, can't convince the ref otherwise. Now, Xavier took advantage of a new experimental rule and took the ball out of bounds nine times rather than shoot free throws in the final 29 seconds. Shot one there, making one, missed one. Gaines trying a three that would put him ahead. Did not. Xavier wins 81-79. And while Kentucky claims to be the hoop team of the century, which I'm sure UCLA would disagree with, with 1,751 wins, the one thing Kentucky had never won, an NIT preseason or postseason title, of course, these seven NCAA wins eases that pain. Lute Olsen starting the freshman guards, and they would pay off. Gilbert Arenas saying Madison Square Garden is my Arenas. Comes up with the steal and lays it in. He had 20 and 5 steals on it by four at the half. Second half, Jason Gardner comes up with the steal. Thinks he's got an easy lay-in, but Tayshawn Prince says, I do not think so. Great rejection. That was a courtesy highlight, though. All Arizona, Luke Walton, son of Bill, to a cutting Richard Jefferson, who had 15. And the Wildcats, the Arizona Wildcats, win the preseason NIT 63-51. game. Matt Doherty would see his fighting Irish scrap back after being down big. Matt Carroll hits a three. At one point, they hit five in a row. Then Troy Murphy gets the ball down low and lays it in. He had 25. Doherty's team would cut Maryland's lead to one, but... Maryland would not fold. Juan Dixon drives the baseline. Now, Terrence Morris is camping out in the lane. It's like 37 seconds. No call. He had 12 points. Dixon and the Terps hang on to win 72-67. Maryland almost blows that 18-point lead before closing it out. All five Maryland starters scored in double figures. 
See, prior to the Bearcats game with Cleveland State on the Big Island, since he went to a luau that featured roasted pig, fire dancers, and freshman center B.J. Grove dancing with the hula girls. Said teammate Ryan Fletcher, quote, I got a couple of pictures of it. I'm blackmailing him when we get back home. As for the game, Bob Huggins might not want to see pictures of that shirt. Early first half, Martin gets defensive. Sonny Johnson drives, but Kenyon Martin says, I do not think so. Almost spikes it through the roof, and then continues to tell everybody about it. Later in the half, Martin proving he is offensive as well. Throws it down. He was 8 of 10 shooting. We did the math. That's 80%. Bear gets by 20 at the break. In second half, Martin down low. Pumps through and hits the tough one-hander. He finished with a game-high 20 as Cincinnati rolls 91 to 56. B.J. Grove, by the way, had four. Bearcats move into the semis. They've won their first two games by an average of 31 points. Cleveland State falls to 0-11 all-time against the Bearcats. South Carolina and number two Michigan State. First half Spartans by 11. Big They're looking crowd. for Morris Peterson. The crowd was sparse, but they made up for it in noise. Michigan State takes the 23-9 lead. But South Carolina trying to hang on. Chuck Eidson hits Herbert Lee Davis for the alley-oop. South Carolina cut the lead to 33-21, but second half, Spartans stay ahead 55-50. Peterson gets the steal, and the 17 people in attendance go crazy. Michigan State goes on to win 59-56. Peterson finished with 21, and even the... Pepe Sanchez out of this one. A.J. Guyton, first half, launch on the three is good. And Guyton from generally the same area again, and that's good, too. Guyton, different area, same result, another three. Guyton at 12 first half points, pulled midway through the first half, and Temple makes a run. Lynn Greer going well, three from the outside, Temple down by one at the half. Second half, though, Guyton back in. Michael Lewis, the rebound, and Guyton to finish it. Indiana goes on to win 67-59. Guyton goes for 22. Kurt Hastings goes for 20. Temple without Pepe Sanchez sprained his ankle during the week. There was no other interesting facts about this game. Back to San Juan for Texas and DePaul. Quentin Richardson taking charge. Not taking a charge, but taking charge. The three is good. He had 27. Trainers worked on this guy, Chris Mim, all night. The Bruce is Shen in Thursday's game, and Mim nails the three, and Mim wants more. He had 23 points, 13 rebounds. Texas winner to move on to play Michigan State. So Texas in the Puerto Rico shootout final. Axel, the transfer from Texas, launching, hitting that. Jayhawks up by two. Now Kansas up seven. Kurt Heinrich playing some D. Got the steal and looking for Kenny Gregory on the wing. He traveled and scores. Kansas up 32-23 and then pulling away off the miss. Heinrich wings it out there for Nick Bradford. He'll throw it home. Kansas wins easily over Xavier. Buck 11 to 70. 0-6 all-time.